Welcome back to another episode of Realized Affirmations. This is Chisa Penix Brown, your favorite mental wealth lifestylist. Today, I need to tell you that you have a big problem. The problem is you have great expectations. Mm. Isn't that isn't that terrible? You have great expectations. And the problem with that is that motherfuckers always disappoint. I'm trying to tell you, if we didn't have these great expectations in our lives, everything would be good because when stuff fucks up, we would not be like, oh, well, I expected that it was going to be great, right? I mean, even if it's something like a meal or a drink, you know, or a vacation, a destination, a person, right? You expect so much wonderful greatness. And then they fall short and you're like, this is some bullshit. So I want to tell you that if you stop expecting so much from people, then it will make life easier for you. Now, this is sarcastic as fuck. I want you to understand that. But I realized I get so upset over things because I expected that somebody would actually do things in the way that they should do them. Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Yeah. You thought that they were actually going to do things the way that they should do them. Or guess what? You thought that they were going to do things the way that you do them. (laughs) Fuck no. (laughs) I'm trying to tell you. Your expectation was too high. It was too great. So instead of having great expectations, maybe you should have some requirements. Now, one requirement that I have of everyone that is in my life, the top one is respect my time. And The problem is you have so many people who don't think that time is something that should be respected. Time is the only thing in this life that we cannot get back. Okay. It's just the only thing. You can get money back. You can get people. You can get a place to live. You can get food. You can get all of that stuff back, but you cannot get time back. So instead of expecting certain things, you tell people to respect your time or get the fuck on. Now, let me tell you something. This will teach people how to treat you. Leave a motherfucker when they late the next time. And I guarantee you they'll help respect your time. I don't give a fuck if they paid for something or anything. Leave their ass and then they'll learn how to respect time. Lock a door on a motherfucker and they'll learn how to respect time. Change a lock on a motherfucker. They'll expect, oh shit, oh man, Uh, oh you respect me now? Because, see, when I tried to say you should be here at this time, we're going to start such and such. This is when it is. This is what we need. You fucked it up. So give them no more expectations. You teach them how to respect your time. Now, another requirement, match my effort. Match my effort. Now, everybody it's not going to have the same tenacity and level of experience or expertise that you have, but they can try. Now, I want to give you this example. You know how when you see little kids, babies like toddlers trying to imitate what you're doing, you know them little motherfuckers can't do what you're doing, but guess what they do? They match the effort. They try so hard to match what you're doing because they want to show you that they care and that they respect you and that they're paying attention. But somewhere along the line, once people get older, they don't want to match the effort. They feel like it's okay to give a little bit. And see, the problem here is my 50% is another motherfucker's 200%. If I'm at 50%, you feel like whatever you're doing, you're overworking. You're just catching up. You're not even to my 100%. But you can try your best to match my effort. At least make it look like you're making a good effort in order to contribute to the society that we have here. Okay? Another one. Keep your word. When I'm telling you I detest a lion ass person, keep your word. And if you can't keep it, then that's when you send in the addendum. If you tell me that you're going to do something and something comes up, send me 
enough notice in order to make an adjustment. Don't just not do it. If something didn't come through the way that you thought that it would, let me know that. But just flat out blatant lying? Absolutely not. And so this is why this is a way for people to be in requirement mode. I require you to tell me the truth. All right. Just be honest. And the other thing is, hopefully, that you can stay consistent. Now, it's a lot of consistently inconsistent motherfuckers, and that's their consistency. Did you understand when I said that? It's a lot of consistently inconsistent motherfuckers, and that's their form of consistency. I need somebody that I can trust, somebody that's going to be there, somebody that's going to do what they say that they're going to do, somebody that I know if I leave the room, they will be able to handle some things. I need that. That is a requirement, okay? And if you cannot handle that, get the fuck on, all right? Now, instead of having such great expectations, when people know that you require these things of them, then it gives them the opportunity to step up to your level of what you require. You have so many problems because you're expecting people to be like you, to do the things that you do, to do them in the way that you do. And I am not just speaking to you. I'm speaking to myself. So when I stop fucking around with people and just expecting that they'll do things right, I might need to check up on a motherfucker just to make sure some shit is done correctly. I may need to have to send you emails multiple times. I don't like micromanaging and I don't like being micromanaged, but some motherfuckers need that so that they can build up their confidence and they can get to a point where they can be consistent. It's your job to make sure that the people that are around you live up to the requirements that you have. And if they can't, then you can find other people that can do those things. But the problem is you're expecting too much, too great an expectation from people who are not willing to deliver. So stop worrying about those expectations and put requirements in place and see how drastically life changes. And this has been another podcast episode from Realized Affirmations. Hey there, it's Chisa Penix Brown. I am your favorite mental wealth lifestylist, and I'm also the host of the Real Ass Affirmations podcast. And I want to let you know, podcasts cost money. Now, you might get them for free, which is a great thing, but... I have to pay in order to make sure that you have all this great content. And I want to be able to keep doing that. But I would love to be able to get your support in order to make that continue to happen. So you can go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash RA affirmations and you can donate on a, you know, whenever you feel like it basis or you can donate on a monthly basis and become a subscriber. So whichever thing floats your boat is going to be happy and make me happy and we'll all be happy together because I'm going to keep on giving you these great real ass affirmations and you'll be able to support with not only your listens but also with your dollars and I appreciate every dime so make sure you give it to the people literally so we can keep on giving you these real ass affirmations